Good afternoon. My name is Amar Jyot Singh. I'm based in Edmonton, and I'm pleased to invite uh, the immigration lawyer from New Brunswick, uh, Mr. Khalil Hajeri. Uh, he helps immigrants, especially who speak French, francophone uh, immigrants. As you know, francophone immigration strategy is, um, is uh, high on the top of priority for the immigration uh, minister. In fact, he announced this last week. And uh, people who speak French, they have a great advantage in, in getting express entry, additional bonus points, uh, jobs uh, without the LMIA. And in generally, you know, many provinces, like I know Ontario also, uh, you know, have a French speaking uh, people or stream in the PNP program. So to talk about all of this and also maybe, uh, you know, Jobs for Francophone people. Uh, Mr. Khalid Hajeri is uh, is with me, and let us welcome him to the show. Khalid, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Mr. Singh. J'aimerais d'ailleurs commencer par dire quelques paroles en français. Donc, je m'appelle Khalid Hajeri, je suis avocat d'immigration ici au Nouveau-Brunswick, à Moncton. Puis, comme vous savez, la province de Moncton est une province qui est officiellement bilingue. Par conséquent, uh, les programmes qui avantagent les francophones et la francophonie sont d'autant plus importants ici uh, du fait que il y a beaucoup d'opportunités d'emploi en français et pour les francophones. So uh, I was uh, speaking about the C16 exemption program. Okay. It's, yeah. Uh, it's like C16 is what you are seeing on the screen. This is an international. Uh, you can see my screen, uh, Khalid. Can you? Yeah. Yeah, this is an international mobility program, Canadian interest, significant benefit for people who speak uh, French. Yeah. Uh, and uh, according to this, there's no LMIA needed. Uh, generally, people need an offer of employment, uh, and that is it. And they must be looking to work and settle outside Quebec and with a skill O, A, and B job. That is all it is. That's all. There's no requirement more than this. Yeah. If you if you do not speak uh, native French, that means if you were not born in one of those francophone countries like Morocco, Mauritius, you know, African countries, uh, Belgium, France, uh, all you have to do is just take the uh, the test evaluation in France, the TEF test, and get a level seven or higher. That is all it is. Uh, Khalil, is that is that is that all it is, or there's more more to it? No, you have the TEF and the TCF as well, and yes. you have to get uh, seven to each uh, abilities uh, in order to be uh, qualify uh, to use you know these exemptions to LMIA. So it's easier for um, employer to hire workers uh, through these exemptions. And it's easier for employers to find jobs as well. So I think it's, uh, you know, a program uh, which is not, uh, you know, often used here in New Brunswick. It's because of the lack of uh, French speaker lawyers. Yeah. Well, that's why we're here. You know, it's our specialty is just to apply the C16 uh, program. And it facilitates, you know, every process for the employers and the employee. Yeah. So, uh, do you help uh, people? Uh, do you help people find jobs? Uh, because you are a native French speaker, are you in contact with employers, uh, especially who are looking to hire these francophone workers? Yep. Uh, I'm working in a firm uh, named Noel and Associates, yeah, uh, which is specialized uh, mainly in immigration, but also in real estate. But it's another story: in immigration. Yeah. Yeah. So we have our contacts with employers uh, to find job offers. Uh, okay. so we have our database uh, with uh, you know uh, employees' profiles and employer needs, and then if you know we can match them, we'll do it. We have a division uh, who is uh, working you know in matching employers and employees. Yeah. And, uh, in the frame of this strategy. Uh, we openly use uh, the C16 exemption code. Okay. Yeah. What what kind of uh, what kind of occupations uh, are you targeting to get resumes? So you want obviously you want people to apply 
through you. So what kind of occupations do you have in mind? What are you looking for, skilled, professional, or uh, tradespeople? What, what, what kind of applicants do you need uh, for them to apply through you? So now we have um, requests uh, from trucking companies. Trucking uh, companies. Uh, they are looking for uh, workers uh, who have uh, uh, a U.S. visa. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know if it's to plan, you know, transportation between uh, United States and, uh, and Canada. Yeah. Uh, but we have uh, requests for fish plants as well. Okay. Uh, uh, and for, you know, sort of skilled workers. Uh, yeah. it, depends, it depends on, it depends on the, the requests. And, you know, it's changing every day, so... But our strategy is to take the resumes, to keep them in our databases, and when an employer needs a position yeah. related to this you know, uh, resume, then we match the employee with the employer. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, in New Brunswick, uh, there is a recent update about, uh, about the transport truck drivers, NOC 7511, and I understand that they are promoting PNP uh, for truck drivers, especially who have had at least, what, nine months of experience yep. uh, driving in New Brunswick, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, nine, nine months experience, okay. So, but for this, uh, because this is not a skilled job, the, the, the Francophone mobility program does not apply to truck drivers, but nonetheless, you need truck drivers. And hey, look, uh, people who are listening to uh, this message or, you know, um, if you come to know that uh, we need truck drivers, if you have truck drivers uh, who can who can qualify and all the experience and requirements is listed here, uh, they must have a valid New Brunswick Class 1 driver license at least total of 24 months in the last two years out of last five. And if they have a minimum nine months of continuous full-time work experience under NOC 7511, uh, then, uh, of course, they will apply to PNP and, of course, they will get the PR through PNP. But if you are a driver, especially driving in maybe Dubai or Europe or somewhere else, maybe perhaps in U.S. as well, uh, and if you want to live in New Brunswick uh, and drive the truck, uh, this is it. Uh, we need truck drivers and uh, you will be able to first obtain a work permit provided you know the employer has to screen you the interview and then eventually you will uh, enter the pathway uh, towards immigration through new Brunswick PNP uh, but we need a lot of francophone workers if you are francophone uh, you know native uh, you know living in, in uh, anywhere in the world and if you are, if you are a professional I will post an email address down below this YouTube video or maybe a link that you can upload your resume and um, uh, we'll, we'll uh, find out if uh, we can match uh, your resume with some employer who needs a francophone employee. Is that it, uh, Khalil? Is there any, any other message that you want to give to people? Yes, I would like to say that New Brunswick is a province that gives a lot of opportunities to francophones. Uh, ici à Moncton, mais aussi à Dieppe, uh, plusieurs autres villes comme dans la péninsule acadienne, par exemple, uh, Edmonston, uh, comme par exemple même Grand Saubon. Il uh, y a plusieurs villes uh, environnantes dans la péninsule qui donnent beaucoup d'opportunités aux immigrés francophones. Il faut savoir que uh, le grand avantage que représente le nouveau Brunswick par rapport au Québec c'est que le, le code d'exemption C16 qui vous permet de venir travailler sans besoin de EIMT ou LMIA euh, ne s'applique pas au Québec. Donc ça, c'est vraiment un avantage spécifique au Nouveau-Brunswick. Uh, yeah, I'm saying basically that the, this program for French speakers only applies in provinces, um, you know, all provinces of Canada except of Québec. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's a politique to promote French speakers, uh, you know, in other provinces, it's because, you know, the two uh, official languages of Canada are French and English, so we can understand why uh, they try to... <laughs> yeah. there, there, 
there's something at uh, the last uh, I missed the last word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I told so, you that. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Fine. So uh, that's that's pretty good. Uh, well, I guess uh, guys, if you if you speak French, uh, start learning French. I mean, if you don't speak French, send a resume. If you don't speak French, start learning it. Uh, and CLB seven. Uh, that's what we need. Um, and a uh, job work from without LMIU. That's something. And French could be you know, using French could be a good strategy. Uh, to win points uh, for you know expert century profile oh yeah oh yeah it is of course it is a it is a nice strategy because even even before this update uh, in expert century if you had bilingual that means english and french both you you had more points anyway but after this update that that bilingualism that french uh, has you know you can you can extend your points even up to like 50 points that will make a difference between exactly. Getting the cutoff or not, uh, but in uh, in in many, just like I said, Ontario, yes, there's a French uh, stream. You can go through that French stream as well, and of course, you can all easily obtain. I remember I am in Edmonton. I remember there there was a bakery uh, here that was I think owned by somebody from Morocco, and uh, he speaks French. I think Morocco people do speak French, and they wanted to bring somebody like his friend or cousin from from Morocco. And all uh, was needed was a job offer, a simple job offer, and they got the work permit within two weeks from from the Canadian Embassy in Paris. So it's a it's a fast track. It's a more very powerful, yeah. solid, stable, no no scope of error, very decent way of, of getting fast track yeah. work permit. So uh, thank you very much, uh, yeah, uh, Khalil. I yeah. thank you for your time, and uh, we 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 hope that many people will apply, and then we can match them with some employers. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. C. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye.